Hello friends, it's so good to see you. I'm Reverend Matt and I'm here to have a very special chapel time with you today. As I'm sure a lot of you know, it's almost Thanksgiving and it's going to be so much fun to have Thanksgiving where we all get to celebrate and have big meals with our families and hopefully have some of your favorite foods. I'm really looking forward to having pumpkin pie. What are you really looking forward to having? Great! So I thought for today we could have a special story from the Bible about Jesus and being thankful. But here's the thing. I'm going to need you to help me tell the story, okay? So I've got the story here, and there's a couple different characters in it. And every time I say these characters' names, I'll need you to say something, okay? So when I say Jesus, I want to hear you say, Son of God, okay? So I say Jesus, you say, Son of God. And then when I say 10 people, because this is about 10 people who were sick, when I say 10 people, you say, we're so sick, okay? Can you do that for me? So let's test it. When I say Jesus, you say, good. And then when I say 10 people, you say, excellent. All right, so here we go. Here is our story for the day. A long time ago, there were 10 people. And those 10 people were very sick. They had boo-boos all over their bodies. And the 10 people were very, very sad. And one day, the 10 people saw Jesus. They cried out to him, Jesus, heal us, take our boo-boos away. And Jesus said to them, go see the pastor. So the 10 people began walking to see the pastor. And as they were walking, the 10 people suddenly noticed that their boo-boos were going away. In fact, they were not sick anymore. They all let out a big cheer and ran off to see the pastor. Except for one person. This one person turned around and went back to Jesus. They threw themselves at Jesus' feet. And, they, and he said, thank you so, so much. And Jesus said, didn't I heal 10 people? What happened to the other nine? Get up, go. Your faith has made you well. Well done. You guys did such a good job helping me tell that story. Thank you so much. So this story helps teach us a lesson about something God would love for us to do every single day. And that something is to be thankful. See, we know that God gives us all the good gifts that we have. God is the source, the beginning of all good things in the world. And we all have lots of things that we can be thankful for. One of the things that I'm thankful for, I'm thankful that I have a nice house to live in and a family to live in it with me. What's something you're thankful for? Okay. Well, great. I'm so glad that you're thankful for that. One of the things that we can do to help remind ourselves to be thankful is to have certain prayers or certain songs that we can say or sing at certain times of the day. So I thought I would teach you a song that you can sing at meal times. Maybe you can sing it for lunch or for supper or even on Thanksgiving Day. It's called the Johnny Appleseed Prayer. And maybe you've heard of it. So it's a song and I'll sing it for you. So I'll sing it through once and you just listen, put on those listening ears and you can listen to me. And then I'll sing it a second time and you can sing it with me, all right? So it goes like this. It goes, Oh, the Lord is good to me and so I thank the Lord 
for giving me the things I need, the sun, the rain, and the apple seed. The Lord is good to me. All right, think you can do that with me? So let's sing it another time all together. Here we go. Oh, the Lord is good to me, and so I thank the Lord for giving me the things I need, the sun, the rain, and the apple seed. The Lord is good to me. Fantastic. Well done. So maybe you can sing that at lunch today or at supper tonight, or maybe at your Thanksgiving Day meal. So now, before we close in prayer, I would like to do something special with you. I would like to do the singing bowl. So this is the singing bowl. And as you may or may not know, the singing bowl likes to be the only thing that makes noise. So for us to listen to the singing bowl, because when I tap it, it wakes up and it sings for us. But for us to do that, you have to be very, very quiet. Okay? So let's all be quiet together so that we can listen to the singing bowl sing. Okay? So what I like to do when I listen to the singing bowl is I like to sit crisscross applesauce with my hands on my lap and my bubble in. And let's listen together. Well done. Think we can do it again? Let's try one more time. Crisscross applesauce, hands in lap, bubbles in, and let's listen together. Well done. Let's do it one last time for the third time all together. Crisscross, hands in lap, bubbles in, and let's listen together. Well done. Thank you so much for listening with me. Now, before we go, let's close with a prayer. We'll do an echo prayer where I'll say some words and then you repeat them after me. So as we pray, let's put our hands together in front of our hearts so that we're in our prayer posture, which helps us be still and quiet. Let's pray. Thank you, God, for loving me and everyone in the world. Help me to be thankful every day for the good things you give us. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I can't wait until we get to do this again in person someday. Have a good rest of your day. Goodbye. Bye.